It's our good buddy, WRKO talk show host and Boston Herald columnist, Howie Carr. Howie, thanks for Skyping in again on America's Forum. My pleasure, J.D., and I apologize for these dogs again. I don't know what's going on outside. Well, you know, uh, I who guess... Who let the dogs out? That's right. Who, the, who let the dogs out? We'll, we'll figure out how to deal with the canines in just a few minutes. Uh, in all sincerity and seriousness, we'll talk about this a little bit later on the program, but very quickly, the, the mosque connection between the Tsarnaev brothers and the uh, ISIS media mastermind, what are you hearing? Well, the the uh, the fact is, this mosque has always gotten sort of a pass uh, compared to uh, compared to the mosque in Roxbury, which was built uh, more recently. It's a larger mosque, and uh, I think one of the reasons is when the uh, when the Sarnia brothers bombed the Boston Marathon, there were there were stories coming out that the older brother Tamerlan Sarnia had been expelled from the mosque for his radical uh, viewpoints, and at that and. and they, they were kind of they were, they were uh, left alone pretty much and uh, the mosque until this weekend when it turned out that this the ISIS uh, the 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 ISIS uh, PR man for lack of a better term the social media guy was also a member of this mosque and uh, and I didn't until I read the New York Post yesterday I wasn't aware that uh, some of these other uh, some of these other uh, fugitives are, uh, are are involved with this mosque so uh, we'll talk more about uh the mosque and its its interaction with the community of Boston. But we'd be remiss in this portion of the program not to turn to politics for a quick snapshot on a couple of things. Number one, the gubernatorial race in Massachusetts. Is Martha Coakley still in position to win the Democrat nomination and in all likelihood the governorship? Uh, it, well, uh, to, to part A, yes, it appears that she's still ahead. The Herald, uh, my newspaper, just released the latest snapshot poll, and uh, it, it showed that Steve Grossman, is the state treasurer, is closing in on her, but she still has a lead, and it looks like she's going to hang on, uh, probably because 57% of the expected voters tomorrow are going to be women, and there's two men uh, in the race versus Martha Coakley, the uh, only woman who lost to Scott Brown in 2010. As for uh, winning the governorship overall, uh, there was a poll last week that came out. It was the first poll yet. It was within the margin of errors, but it was from the Boston Globe, and it showed that uh, Charlie Baker, the likely Republican nominee who was defeated in 2010, is uh, is ahead of her by one point. Well, so it looks like it's going to be a very tight race. Now, I want to get this straight. I want to make sure this right charlie baker is ahead or at least in a dead heat at this point yeah yeah it's within the margin of error but he was ahead 38 to 37 jd i know it's hard to imagine but uh it's it's in the globe too so you know uh you know they weren't giving charlie any breaks when it came to rounding off uh fractions well that that's interesting to see maybe it bodes well for massachusetts republicans howie uh, we're going to have you stay with us uh, through the break and come back and talk more in depth. But you mentioned something er uh, interesting about the neighboring state of New Hampshire. Ted Cruz paying a visit there? Yes, Ted, Ted Cruz he was on my show actually on Friday uh, promoting his visit. He's, he's up there today. There is a, uh, a, a, Hispanic, uh, a Hispanic state rep from Salem, New Hampshire, uh, Mary Linda Garcia. She's about 30 years old. She's, uh, she's running in the Republican primary tomorrow against, uh, against some, uh, some more traditional Republican candidates uh, for the right to face uh, Annie Custer who's the uh, incumbent state, the incumbent congresswoman from the 2nd District, and she's a first-term congresswoman. And, and I think uh, Mary Linda Garcia would have a pretty good shot against, uh, against Annie Custer. And I, I think Ted Cruz feels the same way, and he's going to be going to, going to bat for her this, uh, today up in New Hampshire, in, in Nashua, they're going to be campaigning together. Is Ms. Garcia a border hawk? We got less than a minute, uh, 30 seconds. No. Uh, no? no, not she, she's not she's not what you would expect. But let me put it this way: she would be an improvement over Annie Custer. I, ah. I think that's safe to say. All right. So it's interesting to see that when we come back, more of the political landscape from Boston with Howie Carr, and also uh, really we're going to get more in depth on exactly what's going on at this mosque in Boston, vis-a-vis -vis terrorism. Uh, in the meantime, you're hearing some of Howie's opinions. We'd love to get some of yours. Why don't you tweet us your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also NewsmaxTV.com slash comment. 